Good afternoon and welcome everybody to Detroit Skate Club, where today the Lake Orion Dragons are facing Flint Powers. We have senior night festivities today, and in a few moments, we're going to turn that over to the public address announcer, Mr. Strauss, and here we go. Let's 
Next up is number 21, Joey the Proud. Joey's parents are Paul and Carol. Joey began playing hockey at five years old in Royal Oak and progressed through travel hockey playing for several teams in the metro area. He played one year on the Lake Orange Junior Varsity hockey team and he was named the most valuable player. Joey is a two-year Lake Orange Varsity letter with our hockey team. Joey is an honor student and has earned a Lamp of Learning Award and he is an OAA Scholar Athlete. He has been in the high school band for four years and plays the dermatome saxophone and the wind, wind ensemble. After graduating, Joey will study computer science and hopes to attend Michigan State University. He would like to train for, for a graphic certificate and work part-time as a part-time referee over the summer and during college. In other post-graduation plans, Joey's father, Paul, is now working on plans on what he and Carol can do now that they don't have to pay any more ice bills. Let us hear for Joey. And now for the assistant captains. The first assistant captain is number six, Connor Graham. His parents are Dan and Dawn. Connor is a three-year varsity hockey player. He began playing hockey at, I believe this, age three at Lakeland. He has played for several, several travel hockey teams, including the USA Eagles, the Victory Honda AAA team, the Oakland Junior Grizzlies AAA team, and the Birmingham Rangers. He served as a assistant captain on his last team at RHC prior to joining the Dragons in his freshman year. Connor comes from a family of hockey players, including three brothers, Lane, class of 2009, who played three years on the Lincoln University, Landon Graham, who plays on the 2005 USA Eagles, and Brandon Graham, who currently plays on the 2007 Lincoln Hawks. Connor has been on the honor for three years, and he plans to play junior hockey after he graduates from Lake Orion High School. Please let's hear it for Connor. Next up, assistant captain number 19, TJ Thurshill. TJ's parents are John and Stephanie. TJ is a two year Lake Orion University hockey player and he is a member of the OAA champions in 2017 and he was a league MVP. TJ played travel hockey starting at eight years old with many years in Rochester and his final year with Honeybee before joining the Dragons as a junior. He is a four year varsity golfer for Lake Orion High School. TJ has a 3 by grade point and is a Lamp of Learning Award winner. TJ has not set his post graduation plans, but he is working on it currently. Let us hear it for TJ. Next up, assistant captain, number 23, Mitchell Burney. His parents are Derek and Diana. Mitchell is a three-year varsity hockey player. He began skating at age four at DSC. He's played travel hockey throughout his career, and he spent seven years with the 2000 USA Eagle. He's a member of the Rock Club since he was in third grade, and he has earned a Lamp of Learning Award. After graduation, he plans to obtain his private pilot license this summer, He's going to attend Western Michigan University to pursue a Bachelor's of Science in Aviation. After college, he hopes to become a commercial aviation pilot. Let us hear it for Mitchell. And finally, in the cap of the Dragons, number 16, Jacob Helzer. His parents are Mark and Janine. Jacob started playing hockey at three and played travel hockey for the Detroit State, Prince, the Oakland Junior Grizzlies. Grizzlies. Jake was a part of, of the District 3 and a two state championship team with the Oakland Junior Grizzlies. 
Jacob was assistant captain of the 2019 National Championship team at the division level for the Oakland Junior Grizzlies. He is a two-year Lake Orion varsity player and a member of the OEA Red Championship team in 2017. He's been on the honor roll all four years at Lake Orion, and Jacob has also received the OEA Scholar Athlete Award in 2017. After graduating, Jacob plans to attend Oakland University where he will study mechanical engineering. He plans to pursue a career in the automotive industry. Let's hear it for Jacob. All right, that is the senior class of the 2018 year. Well, that was your senior festivities for Saturday afternoon here, right before the Flint Powers and Dragons meet up at 2.30. Warm-ups just around the corner, and puck drop right after that. We'll be right back. Good afternoon, and welcome to Detroit Skating Club, where this afternoon, the Lake Orion Dragons, your home Dragons, will be facing Flint Catholic Powers High School. I'm Larry Rosen. I'll be here for the broadcast today. Glad to be back in town and behind the microphone. The uh, Dragons have a tough task on their hands today as Powers Catholic is number 10 in the state's top 10 rankings, Power 10 school rankings. So we have some keys to tonight's game. For the Dragons, as the uh, fans file in, the parents, grandparents, as it is senior day, and uh, it should be a good one. Two very strong teams with almost identical records. We have Flint Powers 16, six and two, and the Dragons at 15, six and one. So this should be a good one. To my right, we have the Flint Powers here in bright orange with black and white trim, and of course the Dragons in their home whites. Green horizontal stripes, green helmets with the racing stripe down the middle. Look forward to this one. Keys to today's game, for one thing, the Dragons are going to have to keep the two top scorers for Powers in check. That would be number 25, Sam Letchell. This guy is a powerhouse, and uh, he is unbelievable this year, racking up in the 40-point range, as well as Luke Evo. So it should be a good one today, and we're looking forward to it. Tonight we have uh, the starting lineups will be coming from the public address announcer, Dan Strauss. We're gonna get ready for the national anthem here and stand by for a great hockey game on a Saturday afternoon at Detroit Skating Club. As we wait, I can give you the Dragon starting lineup today. And in goal, we have number one, Johnny Mitchell. At left wing, number 17, Gabe Podick. At center, captain, assistant captain, Connor Graham. And at right wing, number 19, Mr. Hirchfield. Dragons are a little short today as uh, one of the Dragons, senior uh, Mark Helzer. He uh, had a, took an upper body injury in last night's win over Farmington. And I'm going to turn it over to Dan Strauss, public address announcer. We'd like to remind everyone of the importance of sportsmanship in high school athletics. Lake Orion University hockey team hopes that everyone enjoys tonight's hockey game while displaying mutual respect for all players and fans of both teams. And now for the starting lineup for the visiting Chargers. Number two, Josh Foyle. Number eleven. Number one is Josh Brewer. Number 17, Luke Evo. Number 18 is Connor Cohorn. And number 21 is Christian Wendell. And now, the starting lineup for the Lake Orion Dragons. And the center for the Dragons. Senior, assistant captain, number six, Connor Graham. Starting it up here with the Dragons, 
Well, here we go. Welcome back. It's almost game time. Dragons huddling around the net as is Powers doing their pregame cheer. What an outstanding rendition national anthem by one of the Dragon player sisters. Just outstanding. What a pleasure to hear, hear a rendition like that. And we're getting ready to go. Um, as I mentioned in the pregame, Dragons are a little bit short as Jake Helzer has an upper body injury that uh, he got last night in the Farmington win. And uh, Dragons are putting their helmets on, getting ready to go. Referees checking the nets, and this should be a good game this afternoon. Looking forward to the broadcast. Don't have a partner today, but that's okay. I'll do the best I can. Um, as I mentioned, we got some players to watch here for Powers, and uh, Luke Evo, their leading scorer, has 45 points, 19 goals, 26 assists. Closely followed by Sam Letchel, 40 points, 24 goals, 16 assists. So you got two guys there making up 85 points for. Uh, Powers Catholic the Chargers and uh, pretty easy today for me to tell who's who is the is, uh, Powers Club as a bright orange uniform white trim black trim and uh, we're getting ready to go linesman at center ice ready to drop the puck and here we go 236 in the afternoon February 17th the last non-league game before the Dragons try to clinch the OEA Red Championship here we go Flint Powers wins the draw back to the point man number two. Cross ice pass. With the dump in, dump in. Dragons are chasing it down. Bedra hard on the puck. Hodick reaches for it to no avail. And a right out of the shoot, a given goal out of the corner. And Powers scores on a five hole goal. Um, just a little outwork there by the Dragon, by uh, Flint Powers. And just like that, one shot, one goal. Flint Powers has already got an early lead. Dragons have to regroup here. Didn't expect to see that. I think the Dragons are a little surprised with Flint Powers' speed. 
And uh, that was so fast, we don't even have a line change 16 seconds into the game. I think what the Dragons are going to need to do here is play the body. They're uh, we played 20 seconds in this game, and they haven't won a race yet. Powers are working around in the corner. Number 18, Courtney's got the puck, flips it around to the point man. To the point man, number 11, who's deep in, deep in the offensive zone for Powers. Dragons lose the puck again behind the net to pry hard on the check in the corner. Worked over by Connor Graham to pry working for the puck. Two guys on to pry for Flint Powers. Flint Powers wins the battle. Open man in front, but they miss him. Connor Graham working hard, but Flint Powers is very strong down low. Puck in deep, shot, and out comes Graham. Dump in, Dragons going for a line change. Wholesale change for the Dragons. On the four check for the Dragons, Barber gets chasing her down, chasing defenseman down, Barber's chasing deep. Cross ice pass, 25 for Powers, loses the puck to the blue line to Bernie. Bernie clears it to center ice. Number 11 for Powers, dumps it deep. And then deep to retrieve the puck is Sutherland. Sutherland carries it up and an inadvertent icing, but no, they wave it off. Powers back in deep in the four check by Reith to no avails, the puck gets reversed back around. Reith intercepts a cross ice pass. Almost too many men, and it was, and they did not blow it dead because the man did not come off the ice. Reith hard on the four check, puck comes out. Defenseman's carrying all the way in, putting a good shot on the left. All the way around the net for the Dragons. Puck just squirts wide of Marshall, and Marshall's lost his stick. Back to 11 for a slap shot, hard and wide all the way around. Number two for Flint Powers keeps the puck in. Back in deep to number 17. Luke Evo with the puck. Shielding the Dragons guy off the puck. Evo dumps it back in deep. To uh, Korthman. Korthman back around. Still with the puck. The Dragons Barber chips it to no one and out it comes. And shot all the way down the ice to the Powers goalie who handles the puck and dumps it, deep, dumps it to number two. Dragons going for a wholesale line change once again. 15, dumps it deep. And Hagman for the Dragons clears it around, but not out. <clears throat> Hagman on the body check at number 16. Puck comes to the point. Blocked by Bachman, number 10 of the Dragons. And out it goes. Benjamin on the four check for the Dragons. Cross ice pass number 16 for Powers. He dumps it in, loses the puck at center ice. Benjamin flips it back in, and the Powers is offsides. Game settled down a little bit for the Dragons, but Powers has really put on the four check, has really strong puck control today. So it should be interesting to see how this game progresses. The try in for the face off for the Dragons. Wins the draw back to Gonda. Gonda dumps it back up. Gonda dumps the puck back up to, to Dahl. Now it's along, it's right in front of the Dragons bench being worked hard by Dupri. Dupri loses the puck. Dahl on the four check. Now, Powers fans on the shot. Powers keeps it in, but Dahl clears it up into the stands. Live show. This presentation is brought to you by Lake Orion High School Dragon Broadcasting Program in partnership with Orion Neighborhood Television. Live streams of games will be available all season long. www.dragonsbroadcasting.com. 50% of all proceeds go back to the award-winning video program here at Lake Orion High School. On TV thanks our students, crews, for their hard work dedication to bring Dragon sports to the world. Here we go back to live action. Puck dumped in deep around the Dragons net. Sutherland with the puck, he clears. Up to number 14, 14 for the Dragons. Barber's in, pass, and a goal for the Dragons. What a great pass, I think that was Stockwell. Put the puck in the net. Can't be sure who that was, but we're gonna find out in a minute. We got a one-to-one -one game, but I can tell you right now, Mr. Barber for the Dragons made a great pass, and the puck was fired in the net by 
by Ryan Stockwell. That's the way it should work here. Dragons one to one, and now Flint Powers might be a little bit reeling. One shot, one goal for the Lake Orion Dragons. Outstanding. Second goal of the year for Young Stockwell, and he just get tripped at center ice. But uh, you're going to see a different uh, Dragons here, third line. Yeah, Stockwell's throwing his body around a little bit on the forecheck. Puck ducked in deep. That was an icing that they waved off, and the Dragons are going to ice the puck here. With a stoppage in play, let's take care of some business. Larry Buss and crew at Jets Pizza, located 1091 south of Pier Road, have been a proud supporter of Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Athletics. Jets supplies catering for cast and crew. Thank you, Larry, for your continued support. Give them a call at 248-814-7559. Almost back to live action. Connor grabbing the face off here. Top line for the Dragons. Graham, Hertzfield, Hodick on the ice. Nope, Manzo, it's, uh, who we got on the ice? Graham, Graham and all alone, one on two. Shot fired high and caught by the goaltender for Flint Powers, number 31. Adam Cantley made the save. Cantley for Flint Powers, 13 wins, six losses, two ties. He's got a save percentage of 897, goals against a 242. Pretty solid year for a high school goaltender. And here we go, face-off offensive zone. Connor Graham on the draw. Gabe Podick got the gun cocked, ready to go. Loses the draw to number 17, Evo, for Powers. Connor Graham on the puck, holds it in. Gabe Podick on the puck now in the corner. He's uh, working hard here. Got a cross-ice pass to Gonda. Gonda's going to fire up, but get nice block by Flint Powers forward on the forecheck. Three Dragons in the corner fighting for the puck. They come out with they come out with the puck. Back in deep, and an errant pass in front of the net picked off by number 18. And, and a pretty weak call on Graham, who went for the puck, and they're going to call him for a trip. Don't like to call, but Connor Graham is going to the sin bin for two minutes here, and the Dragons are going to go on the penalty kill. Don't know if you want to put Flint Powers on a power play, but uh, all season long, the Dragons' penalty kill has been very good. Um, unfortunately, one of their top penalty killers, Assistant Captain Connor Graham, is in the penalty box. So Coach Field and his staff are going to have to go the well with the number two penalty kill unit, and let's see what they can do here against Flint Powers. Powers has uh, number 16, Cam Conover taking the draw. Offensive zone draw on the power play for Powers. Taking a draw for the Dragons. Dragons lose the draw. Lutchell, Lutchell wins, takes the puck back to the blue line shot. Fired high and wide by Powers and Dragons are able to clear all the way down the ice. Penalty killing for the Dragons right now. We got 23 Bernie. We got number three out there. Bedrick killing a penalty. 19 TJ Hertzfield. Puck in deep. Bernie watching. Dragons playing a pretty passive box here with a little bit of a with a little bit of a pressure. And a great save there by Marshall. Anticipated the cross ice pass by Flint Powers. Number 20 had a nice shot, but Marshall was all over that. And another fine save by Marshall. Puck deflected up over. And uh, Dragons held a little bit there in the corner. Flint Powers contains control. Number 17. Number 17 Evo still has the puck. In the corner, they're fighting for the puck. Flint Powers comes out with it. Dragons penalty kill so far so good, but uh, Powers has a lot of space. They just made a line change, so they were short a man. And a fine, fine play by, by Hirchfield there to clear the puck. Here we go, we got Powers regrouping. Nice four check by, by Podick, dumps it to center ice, and Podick clears it all the way down. Dragons going for a D change right now. And we got 35 seconds left on the Powers, Powers power play. 
We got uh, Hagman and Gonda right now on the protecting the net here for the Dragons on the penalty kill. Barber working hard in the corner, almost wins the battle. And it uh, looks like Dragons have the puck. They're gonna work hard to just uh, freeze it in the corner. Flint Powers has the puck, rings it around the net. Powers number 18 goes behind the net with the puck. And uh, he still has the puck, Ronaldo. Clears the puck out to the net. Now we're back at full strength for the Dragons and the Dragons can't seem to clear, but Gonda's on the puck behind the, behind the net. It pops free to Hagman. Hagman puts the puck up, can't clear. Number 12 takes a shot right through the net, deflected by 18, but Podic has the puck and he'll clear. Now Powers is gonna regroup, shoot the puck all the way down in their corner, and look out here because Dupri is flying on the forecheck, just won the race with the Flint Powers player in the corner. He is working hard, and another hard forecheck by the Dragons, 24. And uh, Powers comes out, 17, Evo, just working the whole system, and a great play by Evo, but foiled by Johnny Marshall and that for the Dragons. This uh, Evo is a fine, fine player. He's uh, seen to win the race. Ra Dow gets hauled down, but no call. And the Dragons regroup. Over to Bedra. Bedra's got the puck. He's going to dump it deep. Dow's going to dump it deeper. And in they go. Benjamin for the Dragons. Four checking hard, but looks like Flint Plowers is going to come up with the puck. The prize working hard on the four check, but he's running out of gas. And number 16, Conover for Flint Powers works the puck all the way in deep. And DePrize got the puck and we got a Connor Graham just, no, it was Manzo just spinning right off the bench. He's gonna take the puck deep. There's, there's two Flint Powers guys on the puck and out Flint Powers comes, they win the battle in the corner. Flint Powers, number 25, takes it deep, whips it all the way around the net. Worked hard by Barber. Barber can't stay with him. Gonda can't stay with him. And here we go, Dragons come out three on two. Manzo with the puck. We got Barber in the middle of the rink. He can't pick up the puck. Flint Powers regroups. Captain for Powers has the puck, number 11. Josh Warder cleared the puck back in. Oh, we got Hagman dumps it deep in for the Dragons. Looks like the Flint Powers goalie oh, keeps the puck in. Gonda dumps it deep all the way around. Flint Powers picks it back up behind their own net. 11 again, their captain Warder, but he gets outworked by Manzo, and Manzo uh, makes him fumble the puck. Number 19 for Powers, just keep, can't seem to clear. Manzo throws a body check, misses his man, and uh, nice play by Gonda. Over to Hagman, and, and Powers dumps it back in, goes for a full wholesale line change. 6.54 left here in the first period. Gonda with the puck. Nice little back pass to, to Hagman back behind the net. Hertzfield. Hertzfield to Connor Graham. Connor Graham to Podic. Shot saved by the Flint Powers goaltender. Nice two on one. I would have liked to see Connor Graham take it more to the net and then, and then give it up, make the goalie commit a little bit. Podic on the floor check. He puts some hurt on him right now. Puck comes clear. Two on two with a, with a back checker. Evo with the puck. Offsides. Too many moves. Too many moves at the blue line for Flint Powers. DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV at 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of this game, but any game or our program in our broadcast vault, the DVD copies, 248-693-3377. Puck dumped in deep. Here we go, back to live action. Puck is out, and we'll have a defensive zone faceoff in front of Dragon's goaltender. Oh, that puck's gonna come out. That must have gone off of Flint Powers skating up over into the netting. So Dragon's gonna make a few changes here, bring Podic back on the ice with, uh, with Hertzfield and Graham. Sutherland on the blue line with uh, Gonda and Bedra. Oh, and a little nifty move there. Podic all alone, he fans on the puck. He still has the puck and he makes the shot and the uh, Flint Powers goalie just makes a nice easy save. Puck in deep, Podic on the puck. Podic is just out working everybody here. He gets, he gets sealed off to Connor Graham. Graham fires it, it gets blocked. Graham fires it again, it goes wide. Podic's got it, Graham's got it. 
Hodick's got it again in an attempt to clear. Flint Powers clears, Sutherland can't keep it in. And Flint Powers comes out one on three, he's going for a wholesale line change. Puck's dumped in deep, Sutherland with the puck. Over to Podick. Podick dumps it deep, he's gonna go for a change. In hard on the puck is number 23, Bernie. Bernie can't seem to win the race, but Gonda steps up and dumps it back in. Nice play by Gonda at center ice. Flint Powers, number 12 with the puck, clears it back across to their captain, number 11, Conover, or Warda, excuse me. Number 16 for Powers has the puck. Cam Conover, he goes in all alone, drop pass to defenseman saved by Marshall. Gonda outworked behind the net a little bit here, and uh, we didn't get better to pick up the puck. Dragons clear it down, but it looks like we got a four check hard. Looks like Manzo's gonna win the race. The goalie clears it right to Manzo, but Manzo can't quite get it. 23 on 23, Bernie clears it in. Oh, and a bad play by Depry gets his pocket picked. But Bernie lays the lumber on number eight for Flint Powers. I think uh, he'll be feeling that for a few minutes. That would be Hutchings. And a fine shot by Depry, stopped by the goalie. We got two on two, but a hard four check. Depry's working hard. Bedra steps in, just clears the puck away on a nifty move by the Flint Powers player. Strauss working hard behind the net for the Dragons. D, now we got three Dragons, three Flint Powers guys in the corner. Powers is trying to get out. Now it's two Dragons and one Powers player. Strauss still has it, wings it around. Benjamin clears the puck. Dow has it center ice, he loses his footing, knocks the linesman down. And back comes Flint Powers, one on four. I don't think much is gonna happen there as Powers goes for a change. Young Strauss swings it back around to the wing, cleared by the Dragons. Benjamin goes for the four check. Booth working hard, dumped it deep with a man on him. Flint Powers, Powers D-man and number 10 for the Dragons. Benjamin collide in the corner, puck pops up between them into the netting. 3.32 left to go here in the first period. We got a one-to-one -one game. It's been a very even game after the first, uh, I would have to say after the first 15 seconds, we've been pretty playing even up. And we got here uh, Powers with the puck. D-man takes it deep, fires a long shot in wide, wide of Marshall. Dragon's working hard, but Flint Powers working a little harder along the wall here. Gonda puts the body on Flint Powers forward, but uh, loses the battle. Flint Powers comes out with the puck. Gonda back on him. Bernie on him. Hagman on the puck, but he loses it behind the net. Powers still has it. 18 behind the net, he has it. Came out all alone and wide. Big scramble in front of the net, just wide of Marshall. Dragons seem to have problems getting control. Evo, their leading scorer with the puck. He can't seem to get close enough to Dragons. Puck's wheeled around but held in by Powers. Over for Gonda. Gonda for Hagman. Hagman up to Manzo. Manzo just out of the reach of stock while he was putting the four check on number 16. Manzo whiffs on the play. That was offsides that they didn't call. Puck fired wide by Powers. Back in for Gonda. Gon is able to clear. Hertzfield on the four check. Inadvertently passed up, picked off by Podick. Podick, Podick wins his race all alone. Gets the puck block, dropped. Connor Graham gets upended without the puck. No interference call. Two guys took him down in front of the powers net. We got Podick. Looks like he might win the battle, and he does against two uh, powers players. Podick has it, Hertzfield dumps it in deep. Connor Graham has the puck, he's looking for an open man. Hits the brakes, goes back. Back to Podick in the corner. And out comes Powers. Powers clears it to center ice. Number three for the Dragons clears Bedra. Bedra to Sutherland, Sutherland dumps it deep. Dragons go for a line change. A buck and a half left here in the first. Dragons got five new fresh legs on the ice. Dumped in deep by Reith. Barber on the puck. Reith wins the race. Dumps it in the corner. Got Dragons coming up for a slap shot and a fine save by Powers. 
And another blo and a block shot on Barber, who picked up the rebound. Bernie on the puck. Bernie on the puck hard. Puts it back behind the net. Flailing elbow by the Powers defenseman didn't seem to work. Barber wings it, gets it winged around. Held back in by the Dragons player, but he loses control. And Powers clear. Looks like we got uh, we got 47 seconds left in the, in the period. Sutherland has the puck, gives it to Bernie. Bernie drops it off for Barber. Barber handles it around. Inadver easy shot on the net for the Powers goalie who just deflects it out front to their D-man. And number 21 for Powers holds up. Hits the open trailer coming in. Number 11 dumps it in deep, Conover. And out comes Hagman. And he's going to ice the puck with, with 21 seconds left. Not a good play. Got to keep that puck from being iced. You don't want an offensive zone faceoff with 19-15 left. Go Mobile with ONTV anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. On your mobile devices, connect with ONTV and see what's happening in our studio. See upcoming events and watch ONTV programs in high definition. On demand on TV, working to bring Lake Orion to the world. Oh, Dragons lost the draw. And Evo has the puck and he loses it right there. Blue line, nine seconds left. Puck fired wide. We've had uh, Powers put the pressure on these last 21 seconds since the draw. And uh, Dragons are going to get away with the trip here. And that's the end of period number one. Well, I have to tell you, everyone, we got a one-to-one -one game, Dragons and Chargers. And uh, I got to tell you, great period after the first 12 seconds. And uh, let's see what the second period has to bring. Larry Rosen here. I'll be right back in about uh, 15 minutes, and let's get the second one going. TV's sports coverage is underwritten by Malasha's Palace Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Malasha's Palace has been serving Lake Orion's automotive needs since the 1960s. Give them a call at 248-393-2222 for more information. Jets Pizza, with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Jets Pizza has been a proud supporter of ONTV since 2009. Classic Lanes, your home for family fun and entertainment in Rochester Hills. Their 32-lane facility offers state-of-the-art bowling equipment for both league and recreational bowlers. Check them out at myclassiclanes.com. And by Lakes Community Credit Union. The not-for-profit institution has been providing financial services to the Oakland County area since 1937. Give them a call at 248-814-4003 for more information. Second period about to get on the way here. Flint Powers on the right, on the ice. We're still waiting for the Dragons. And here they come out of the locker room, being led by number 17, G Gabe Podick. First period ended in a one-to-one -one tie with the second goal of the season by number nine, Ryan Thunder Road Stockwell. Um, nice goal on a good feed by Barber. And uh, we're about to be underway here. A couple more minutes. And as I said, after the first 14 seconds of the period, it was a pretty even game. Here on senior night, senior day for the Dragons. Lots of parents in the stands, lots of grandparents in the stands, lots of white roses in the stands. Um, so here we go. Second period, one to one. Dragons taking on the formidable Powers Catholic Chargers from uh, just up I-75 in Flint there. And uh, it should be a great, Remaining two periods. Linesman blows the whistle. Call for the start of the period. Dragons are going to start out with uh, with the Barber line. Gonda Hagman on, on D. Bernie. Barber Reith on forward line. Dragons win the draw. Bernie on the forecheck loses an edge. And out comes Evo for Powers. He dumps it deep. Hagman on the puck. Flips it around to Reith. Reith loses control. High shot off of Evo in front of the net, goes wide. Barber with the puck. 
Over to Hagman. Hagman for Reith. Reith puts the move on the D-man. Number two, Reith puts the shot in off the face mask of the Powers goalie and frozen for an offensive zone faceoff for the Dragons. Outstanding quick rush by the Dragons. And uh, Powers goalie, number 31, made a nice play on that. Cantley throws the puck and the Dragons have offensive zone faceoff. Led out of the ice for this drift draw by number six, Connor Graham, Gabe Podick, TJ Hertzfield with Bedron Sutherland on the point. Graham on the draw. Linesman directing traffic out here. Graham wins the puck, goes off his own skate. Back for Bedra. Bedra puts it, clears it in on net, but blocked off a stick, uh, off a power stick. Puck comes out, number 16 for Powers to number 25. And a great, great, great back check there by Hertzfield in front of the Dragons net, and they're fighting for it. Graham has it, blows right by Bo Podick at center ice. He's going to take it in. Still has it behind the net. He's going to feed it back to the point for Sutherland. Sutherland's going to put it on net. It's going to go up over the net and in the net. No, it did not go in. It stayed out. It went up over Cantley in the net, fell behind him, but the Dragons could not poke it in. Connor Graham on the puck, fighting for the puck. Puck comes around. Sutherland bailed early. He could have kept that puck in, but uh, better safe than sorry, I think he figured. And, to keep Flint from coming out full speed. Bedra works him over at the blue line. Sutherland hasn't been able to get a change. Over to Hertzfield. Hertzfield puts it in, Podick deflects it in. Going for a change, which is gonna leave a lopsided rink here. Number 11 dumps it in for Flint Powers. That's word of their captain. He's got the puck. He still has the puck. Out to point man number three, high and wide. Pass Marshall. Benjamin clears and out it comes. And Powers has to regroup. Joey Dupri working hard on the four check. And Dragons get away with the too many men penalty as it hits their man going into the bench. And lucky for them, uh, they're in good shape. Benjamin all alone fires it in on the clearing pass. Flint was caught in the change. Powers was caught in the change. And Benjamin had a one on one shot with the goaltender, Cantley. Cantley uh, calmly caught the puck, froze it, and we have offensive zone faceoff for the Dragons. We got to pry Benjamin Dow on the points with Strauss, with Strauss and Gonda. Puck, puck dumped in deep by Benjamin. Dow working the puck, clears it. Skips by Bedra, but Strauss is in to wheel it around the Dragons, Dragons net in the corner. Held in by Flint, by Powers. All the way around behind the Dragons net and Johnny Marshall. Dow on the uh, defensive zone coverage. Now Dupri working the guy, working Flint Powers, working the Powers man over. He's, he gets clear, but the puck is blocked in front of Marshall by Strauss, by the leg of Mr. Young Strauss. Strauss trying to hold off Evo. That's not working real well. He's about half the size of Evo. Evo and Strauss are still battling. Puck comes free to number 11, to number 11 for uh, Powers Warda. And we have a penalty, a cross check on, I can't see who that, that cross check is on. That cross check is on number 17, Evo. Their leading scorer is going in the box for an offensive zone cross check on Young Strauss, who never gave up on the play, kept working the body, and uh, I think he cheesed off number 17, Evo, for powers. And the Dragons will uh, be rewarded with their first power play of the afternoon. Powers number 17, Luke Evo, two minutes of cross check. We got Barber, wins the draw but can't control. For Manzo, Barber working along the wall with, with Powers number 18. And number 18 for Powers, he's able to clear. That's uh, that's Corthenin, he's able to clear. And behind the net is Manzo. Puts it up for Barber, Barber's got the puck, Podix in the middle. They're gonna try to get set up here. Barber along the wall. Back to T.J. Hertzfield, forward, playing point on the power play here. Barber has the puck in the slot for Podick. 
Hordick puts it back in the quarter for Manzo. Manzo controls, puts it back behind the net, but nobody home. Graham playing the other point on the power play, another forward. So Podick back to the point for Hertzfield. Hertzfield just throws it at the net, it's deflected, and it squirts wide to the goaltender, and Powers is going to clear. They almost got one in there, the Dragons did, and it would have been a fine power play goal. Lots of traffic in front of Cantley, but the Dragons were not able to capitalize as of yet. Podick at center ice, leaves the puck for Barber, who loses the puck. Powers number 21 on the penalty kill, keeps control of it. Graham feeds it back over to Hertzfield, back behind the net for Graham. Dragons are gonna regroup here on the power play breakout. And they just give the puck away, and number 21 for Powers regroups just to kill some time with 31 seconds on the power play, and they clear it down. Hertzfield with the puck to Manzo with a little spinorama move. He can't control, but he's able to put it in deep. And Hertzfield's able to, uh, not able to control. Graham has the puck. He takes it in front of his own net. With Depry going up, we got three on two. Graham full speed ahead, fires it wide, just missed the outside of the far post. And Cantley didn't have to make a save there. Gonda dumps it deep. Dragons are going for a line change. Power play over and a fine penalty kill by Powers. Dow behind the net, feeds the puck behind the net for Benjamin on the four check. Doesn't get control of the puck. Powers comes out, clears it to no one. Dow's going to put it back in deep. He's carrying it wide. Powers 17. Evo's got the puck. Three on two. He puts it in. Number 16's going in all alone and he scores on the short side on Marshall. Three on two. One pass at center ice, got by the defenseman on the Dragons. And that was it. Short side goal on Johnny Marshall. It's two to one powers. It always seems to be the thing that happens when you have control and then all of a sudden it flips one side after a foil power play and the other team capitalizes. On TV is getting ready to launch our brand new internet radio station. You can create your own podcast, radio show, or sign up to be a DJ. For more information on radio station, give us a call at 248-693-3377. Back to live action. Dow with the puck behind the net. Bernie has it now. Bernie puts it to Dow. Wrap around and he scores! Unbelievable play! Bernie and Dow! And Reef working the puck hard. Unbelievable play, the wraparound play. Can't say how hard those two guys communicated. They worked hard. And uh, no, it wasn't uh, Dow, it was Barber. On the goal, Barber, Bernie, Reith on the forecheck, just like that. 10 seconds later, boom, it's two to two. Dragons and Powers are back all square. Great goal by the Dragons, and out, out comes Graham with Stockwell and Manzo. Manzo puts a body into Flint Powers, and then he gets cross-checked with no call. Flint Powers is getting a little bit frustrated. Stockwell clears. Graham hard on the forecheck at center ice to Stockwell. He, he, missed, he loses control of the puck. 18 to number 11 for uh, Powers Warda, who's their captain. Stockwell dumps it deep, cross-ice dump in, picked off by Warda. Back behind the net for Perillo. Perillo clears it to center ice. Gonda dumps it all the way back in. Perillo back behind their net for the puck. Looks like he's gonna take the puck all the way up and out. Past Hagman, Hagman's gonna win the race. He's gonna put it behind his own net to Gonda. Gonda's gonna take a quick look. Feed it up to, to Manza who loses the puck back to Gonda. Gonda in front of his own net, feeds it to Hagman. Hagman tries to pitch fork it along, but can't get it out. Gonda in the right corner next to his net, feeds it up. Feeds it up the wall. Barber back with the puck. Stockwell has it, and he's gonna dump it deep, but it doesn't go all the way in. Hagman's gonna have to regroup. He doesn't look and just clears it back in. Um, and it's an icing and a broken stick on the ice. So we're gonna have an offensive zone faceoff for uh, Powers Catholic here for the Chargers. Dragons are making a change, getting fresh legs on the ice. Right now I'm looking to see it's uh, 
Sutherland is on the back end right now with Bedra. And taking the draw for the Dragons is Young Barber. And uh, Powers is going to counter the attack with Conover at center ice. And uh, Babka on the wing. Comes out to Bernie. Bernie gets the center ice. He dumps it in. Wreath on the forecheck trying to win the race behind the, behind the net. He does win the race. Puts the body on him. Bernie has it. Throws it out in front. But, to, but nobody's home. And that's a, that's a hard clear off the linesman. It would have been an icing. And, and dumping it deep in for Powers is number 16, Conover. To Bedra. Bedra clears it up to Bernie. Bernie has, Bedra has the puck. He clears it back up and out to center ice. And Powers, number 12, is going to dump it back in. Snyder dumped it back in. And uh, number three for the Dragons, Bedra dumps it all the way down. And out comes Powers, number three on number three. And the Powers, number three, wins the race. But it looks like Deprive picks up the puck and he wins the race. Reith will dump it on cross ice, dump in, and in hard goes Dahl on the forecheck. He blows it, he blows a tire, uh, loses the edge behind the net and goes in hard all alone. And number 11, four power skates all the way in past every dragon and a fine, fine save by young Johnny Marshall. Senior Marshall makes a great save. 11 was flying in there, Warda, all by himself, unimpeded, unimpeded, and looks like uh, Powers is gonna come back with their top line of their top line of Evo. Back to the point. Conover has the puck again. Puts it in. That was Warda, excuse me. Number 11, Warda. Dragons lose a battle along the wall, but nobody seems to want to go get it except for the Powers player. And a nice foot play there by Manzo. Keeps, keeps the puck off the wall. Manzo still has it. Powers is keeping it in wide. Fired in wide. God it loses the race to the blue to the point. It's fired in, deflected. Evo with the puck. Over to Strauss. Strauss clears, but not hard. Podic hard in on number two. He gets almost hauled down. Podic kind of got away with an elbow. Puck, does, puck squirts free. Graham works it up behind the net. We got Gonda and Graham and Strauss all behind the net. Strauss clears and out finally. Powers. Defenseman over for Podick. This is not what they want to see. They don't want to see Gay Podick going all alone, and it's deflected by number 12, or Podick was uh, in past Carson Snyder. Over to number 16, Conover, and he's going to carry it hard and wide, and he's hit hard by Hertzfield and by Strauss, but uh, it seems like uh, right now Powers is just working a little bit harder winning the races. Another win of a race and a, and a puck cleared. Strauss just can't seem to get, get his handle on the puck here. He's working hard, but it's not, uh, it's not in his favor. Puck stays in. Almost we had a breakaway by Podick, but he couldn't get the puck to break free. Strauss is getting worked. Hopefully he doesn't get a hold on that play. And Hertzfield just clears it out for Podick to center ice, but not deep enough. Strauss is trying to get off the ice, and Gonda loses control. He throws it right in front of his own net. Thankfully, Johnny Marshall was paying attention. And that's a great play there as it's, it's iced but deflected by Powers. Benjamin on the forecheck. And Depry on the back check here as number three for Powers. Tries to put a move on, and he does. And a big save by Marshall on a, on a shot by Powers. Powers is free. Marshall, another big save. The Dragons are chasing the puck and not playing the man here. And uh, Marshall's made three big saves here in the last four and a half seconds to keep it uh, two to two ball game. 6.05 left here in the second period. During this sports season, ONTV will be covering varsity, a var large variety of varsity games. Our sports coverage will include varsity girls and boys basketball. Of course, hockey, which we're covering right now. Swimming, wrestling. Select games will be streamed live on nfhsnetwork.com. Will be replayed on our channel Comcast 10 and ATT 99. Visit ontv.org for our program schedule. Well, we just had an icing there. 5:55 left, and I think we can uh, 
thank Larry Buss once again and the crew at Jets Pizza located 1091 South Lapeer. They've been a proud supporter of Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Athletics since 2009. Jets supplies catering for cast and crew. The food's great. Thank you to Larry for your continued support. Give him a call at 248-814-7559. Dragons lose another draw here. We got the Bedra. We got Bedra out there on the point with uh, Sutherland. We got Benjamin, Depry, and Dow up on the forward line. Dragons are really reeling here, uh, getting control. Sutherland comes out all alone, off the pickup, off the draw, and he dumps it in wide of the Powers net. Depry works hard in the corner. Puck's picked up by Evo, thrown around for number 11, Warda. Benjamin makes a hit, but to no avail. And then there's Evo all alone on the wall. And uh, Bedra makes a, makes a play, kind of whiffs on, on Evo, but uh, nothing bad happens yet. Evo back in the corner all alone, the Dragons corner. Feeds the point man, number 11 blocked. Warda blocked the puck. And here we go, Evo, and another block. That was an unbelievable block by Sutherland. Open net as Johnny Marshall could not get up with all the traffic in front of him. You can uh, thank Sutherland there for the block on that shot, because if he doesn't block the shot, we're a 3-2 hockey game. I'm not surprised that, uh, or I am surprised that we haven't seen a timeout at a coach field, as uh, Powers is really putting the pressure on, and the Dragons really need to regroup here and uh, get focused. Late change here by the Dragons. They were short one player anyway. So now we're back to five. Connor Graham, Reith, Stockwell. Out comes Graham, Stockwell's on the wing. He stays on sides. Graham gets a puck blocked by number 25. Graham wheels it around, he's all alone. H hits the brakes, back in the corner for Stockwell. Stockwell gets, gets pushed hard up against the boards, but Graham is still working hard. Stockwell's getting held down, but no call. And out unabated comes number nine for, for Powers. That looked a little off sides. We had Gonda with a body check on nine. Over to Stockwell, he's got control. Stockwell's gonna dump it deep. Nice play by young Stockwell. And Reith is putting the four check on number five for Powers, who had the puck behind the net. and it's dumped all the way in. Gonda's gonna win this race and put it back for, put it back for Hagman. 25 for Powers all alone, no help in it, no help in the offensive zone, but he comes out with the puck, wins the battle with Hagman. 25 has it blocked again by a drag, and that was Connor Grant, that was Young Reith blocking the puck. Stockwell dumps it down, but they can't seem to get it in deep enough to get a change. But Powers will make a stupid play here. Well, a not, a not intelligent play, but Hagman gives it right back to the Finn Plowers player, and that goes off a of Manzo's, or off a of Graham's leg. Gone to Hart on the quarter, but he loses the race, but he's able to keep the puck on the wall. Connor Graham has it now. He puts it up for Helzer. Helzer's going hard. TJ all alone. Dragons are going for a change. TJ gets hit, but he's the one who does the hitting. Surprisingly enough, TJ Helzer was the one who, uh, had the puck and he's the one who inflicted the pain. Great play by Helzer. We got to pry behind the net, I can tell by the hair. He's the, uh, the captain of the all hair team for the Dragons. Hodick behind the net. He can't seem to get a handle tonight for some reason. They're working him over pretty good. Gabe gets hauled down and uh, Reith gets hauled down or Depry gets hauled down and that's gonna be an icing all the way down and the Dragons are gonna get a stoppage in play here. 2.44 left in the second period. Be sure to tune in to replays on your, of your favorite games right here on ONTV. Tune in Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. Saturdays at 1 for the most current games in our lineup. Games are also replayed throughout the week, so check your program guide or our webpage at orionontv.org for replay times that best fit your viewing schedule. Also, you can revisit our YouTube link, Games on Demand, www.orionttv.com. 
Reese with a nice body check in the corner. He has control of the puck, but he loses it. But he gains it back. Barber's got it. And a fine, and, and Bernie fires a wrist shot that goes off the shoulder and hand of Cantley for Powers. And a great save by the Flint goalie and Bernie with an outstanding opportunity. And the puck hits the post on the, on the give and go by Powers. And uh, Johnny Marshall comes out smelling like a rose on that one. Powers is working hard. Back, in the, back on the wall for Evo. Evo steps around Reef. Fires it wide off a stick. Back out to the point. Number five for Powers. It's blocked again by a Dragon. That puck came out and it's offsides. The Dragons are blocking pucks here left and right. They are giving up the body to win this hockey game. I think the Dragons in this particular period have probably had about eight block shots. Giving up the body. I think they know how important this game is. Even though it's not a league game for the Dragons, to come on face the number 10 team in the state in the power 10 rankings and uh, come out on top or even with a tie tells you a lot about the program Nick Fields got here at uh, in Lake Orient for the hockey program. Back to Podick, Graham, and TJ Hertzfield. Graham waved out of the dot. Hertzfield comes back in. Puck comes free to Gonda. Gonda fires it back over to Hagman. Hagman clears it. Podick dumps it in all the way across ice. So Powers regroups. Number two for Powers has the puck. Kovach, he can't seem to get control. Podick's got control behind the net. He's going for the wraparound and a fine save by Cantley for Powers. Podick came around from around the net unscathed, untouched, and almost put it in. Then a little flipper shot in towards Johnny Marshall, and he'll hold on for a faceoff to his left. 117 left in the first period, in the second period. 2-2 score. Dragons seem to be uh, regrouped a little bit since about the six minute mark. They were reeling for a while there. And on the draw was Graham. Gonda worked hard along the boards. Hagman outworked on the boards by Powers, but helped by Graham. Graham's got help. Puck dropped, now it's on the dasher board. Now it's on the dasher. Graham still has the puck. He gets worked over by two Powers players. Podick feeds it up, feeds it up to Hertzfield. Hertzfield's one on three, let's see what he does. Tries to toe drag, doesn't work, but he wins the race. He's still, he's still winning the battle. Hertzfield, a fine play, but he clears it right out to number 17, Evo. Under a minute left. Dragons Bedra whiffs, whiffs on the body check. Evo whiffs, and, he make, and, and, and shoots the puck. Marshall makes a save. Behind the net is Manzo. There's Graham, number six and number eight. Out comes Graham with Hertzfield. TJ's out of gas. Connor fires it high off the goalie's right shoulder and up into the screen. 15.56 left. Great save by, by young Marshall in the Dragons net on Evo. Um, Bedra went for the big hip check, missed him. And thankfully, Evo missed his uh, first fan on his first opportunity. He was able to get a second shot, but Marshall stood up to the task and uh, we're still locked at two here with 15 minutes, 15 seconds left in the period. Barber on the draw. He, he loses the draw. Benjamin on the four check. Bedra has the puck, he dumps it in. That's gonna be offsides because Benjamin can't get out. Four seconds left and that'll be it for the second period. We're gonna end the second period like we started the game in a 2-2 tie. Well, here we go. Great period of hockey, just like, in, just like in the first period. Just like in the first period, Powers took a one goal lead. Dragons came right back moments later to tie the game on a wraparound. And uh, we are in store for one heck of a third period. We'll see you in 15. ONTV's sports coverage is underwritten by Malasha's Palace Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Malasha's Palace has been serving Lake Orion's automotive needs since the 1960s. Give them a call at 248-393-2222 for more information. Jets Pizza, with two convenient locations in the Orion area. 
Jets Pizza has been a proud supporter of ONTV since 2009. Classic Lanes, your home for family fun and entertainment in Rochester Hills. Their 32-lane facility offers state-of-the-art bowling equipment for both league and recreational bowlers. Check them out at myclassiclanes.com. And by Lakes Community Credit Union. The not-for-profit institution has been providing financial services to the Oakland County area since 1937. Give them a call at 248-814-4003 for more information. Here we go about underway here in the third period. Dragons taking the ice right now, led by Gabe Podick. And let's take care of some business before we get to puck drop. This presentation is brought to you by Lake Orion High School Dragon Broadcasting Program in partnership with Orion Neighborhood Television. Live streams of games will be available to you all season long at www.dragonsbroadcasting.org. 50% of all the proceeds go back the award-winning video program here at Lake Orion High School. On TV thanks our students, crews, for their hard work, dedication for bringing Dragon Sports to the world. And one more here, we got, uh, let's thank Larry Buss again from Jets Pizza, located 1091 South Lapeer Road. Larry and the Jets have been a proud sponsor and supporter of Orion Neighbor Television and Dragon Athletics. Jets supplies catering for cast and crew. Thank you, Larry, for your continued support. Give Larry a call at 248-814-7559. And we're underway here in the third. Dragons versus Powers Chargers. And the puck is iced by the Chargers all the way down. And we have an icing in the offensive zone faceoff for the Dragons. Starting the third period for the Dragons is their, is their top line of Graham, Podick, Hertzfield. Number four, Hagman. And number 18, Gonda on the ice. And... For Powers, we're looking at uh, we're looking at one of their top lines as well, and number 31 Cantley in net. Connor Graham wins a draw. Hertzfield takes a shot right off the draw, but it's blocked by Flint Powers player number 18. Dragons working hard. Podick in the quarter wins the battle. He's got he's got two guys on him. He can't seem to get total control of the puck. They feed it right back into his feet. Connor Graham lays some lumber on a guy. Graham with the puck. Out to Hertzfield, all alone in front, and he shoots it right into the big P. Crest on Powers goalie, Cantley's chest. Great play by both Podick, working hard along the boards. Graham in the corner, and Hertzfield found an open spot in between a D-man and a centerman. Two to two, 16-13 left here in the third on a Saturday afternoon here at Detroit Skate Club, the home of the Lake Orion Dragons. Hertzfield in on the draw. Hertzfield wins the draw, puck comes free, squirts free. Hertzfield can't seem to get control. Podick in the corner, now Graham in the corner. Graham sticks it back over for Podick. Podick with the puck, he fires it all the way around, but that's gonna come out. And that goes back in, that goes all the way back in, in for the Dragons. And number three, Bedrick can't seem to get control. Puck comes free, Podick. Podick's got, Podick's got wheels, it's one on two. Gabe Podick all alone, he shoots. And goalie does not know where the puck is. It's under his left skate. And Podick almost snuck one by here as he goes down hard on a slash by a Powers player that uh, got ignored by the referees. Powers is a little chippy here today. Um, the Dragons have to remain their composure and hope to uh, gain a power play chance here in the third. On the ice for Powers right now, we got number, we got number 12, Snyder. Number five, which I can't see on this roster, is Keegan Wildfong, and the puck comes around. Five's got it. Over. Barber has the puck. Strauss to center ice to Barber. He loses the puck. Over to Snyder, number 12. Number 12 dumps it in. Gonda chips it to center ice, loses control. He regains the puck again. Over to Strauss on the far in the dragon zone. Taken in by Reith. Reith puts a toe drag move on him, but loses control. 14 Barber has it, but he throws it to number five. And he, they come down three on two. Number eight has the puck. And 
Low shot right through the five hole, but Marshall's able to freeze it. Not sure where it was, but he made a good save. And congratulated on the save by the Powers player, number eight, who took that shot. That's not something you see every day. Number eight. All the way up. over the net, but Johnny Marshall holds on so the Dragons can get a full line change here and uh, defensive zone face off to the right of Johnny Marshall, number one for the Dragons. Taking the draw for Powers is Conover, flanked on the left wing by number 25. Second leading number 25 by by Dahl into the corner. Hagman on the puck. Gonda with him. Puck it by. 25 has it. And, and big fans for when he's on the ice. Two with the puck. But he loses control. The pry puts the hand. Benjamin out to center right, and it looks like Powers is going for a wholesale line, line change. Let's see if the Dragons can catch him. Dow dumps it in. Benjamin puts it all the way deep. Dragons are going to change the defense. Out comes, out comes three Bedrin, seven Sutherland. That puck goes. Sutherland makes no sense, but they did. Sutherland has it over to. Ben. Clears it. Manzo has it. He puts it in. Puts it in. But Stockwell puts a nice body. Good play at center ice by Stockwell to keep the puck happy. That's a guy you want to. Sutherland dinking around with it in his own net, loses control. Evo chases him down, and he gives it right away. And Evo's got and he fires it. Mr. Sutherland's got to be a little bit safer with the puck. Uh, D change here is Sutherland. Uh, little dipsy do too much. Up to the 2 4 checking. Here's one Mr. who's got 40. Not a guy you want to give the puck up to. It's Connor Graham, flanked by Hertzfield. Not out. Number 25 keeps it in. Control has back on the regroup for number five, Wild Fong. And Gonda has it. He, he, the Potics just got to win the game. Grace with Wild Fong. Gabe takes a shot, kind of gets right up the rear end of Hertzfield. And out. First. Puck picked off by Gonda, dump back in. Does the puck they wheel? icing on powers here and uh he had a heck of an opportunity here here in the third cool the chargers nice for the chargers we have Number eight, Hutchings, 14 for the Chargers, who I haven't mentioned his name tonight, Tyler, Tyler Lauder. Number four for the, I've mentioned him a couple times tonight. Seven. And on the draw for the Chargers, 
was uh, Connor Graham. He wins the number 14 for Powers. Oh, Pote. And uh, Connor Graham. Puck. He wins. He's going up. Shields the puck. Hertzfield makes a heck of a shot. And to say another. Powers. And the Dragons have had the opportunities. Can't see. OP with a lightning bolt through it. It seems they like to hit. Yeah. Corner here. Puck picked out of the air. Podick dumps it in. And Cantley, number 31, the goaltender, to fly the match. Another face. Line change here. Bringing out the bringing out the Barber Bernie Reef line. Flanked on D by Strauss. By Strauss and Bedra. Let's see what we can do on the faceoff here. Taking the faceoff for Powers number 21 Wentlers. Flanked by Evo, the alternate captain. Also Conover on D number five. Wildfong can't see the other number. We got five and 15s out on D for them as well. Babka, so those guys are logging some minutes here. That draw was a draw, but it looks like uh, Reach was working hard. Puck coming to the corner, 18 for uh, Powers, clears the puck. Putting on the four check. Puck squirts free, center ice. Number 12 pitch forks it deep in. Evo's got the puck, but uh, stolen by Reef on the, stolen by Bedra, but he, he, that guy is one strong player, that number 17, Evo for Powers. He tries to put the body in. Bedra clears. Barber on the four check. Number five, Wildfong dumps it around. He's going to spear it back in, in, in the corner. Picked up by Barber. Wreath on the four check. Barber on the four check. Barber with the puck in the corner. He puts a spin move on. Puck's picked up by Evo and he clears out to Bedra. Bedra's going to reboot group cross ice to Strauss. Strauss gives the puck away to Evo and they're going to call offsides. And I got to tell you, I don't think that puck came out. I think the Dragons and young Mr. Strauss, who's pointing to himself, that's on me, uh, would like to have that pass back and lucked out with an offsides. That puck must have come out by about a half inch. We got the Depry, the Depry Dow line out there with Benjamin on the left wing, with Hagman and Gonda on the point. Let me tell you, Depry is working hard. Joey is all over this puck. He is a force to be reckoned with tonight. I'm on the four check. I think he knows the importance of this game. And a fine play there. And they had snuck that one wide. They're going for the stretch pass for number 25, Letchel. And that uh, almost connected for a 2 on 0. And Johnny Marshall lucked out as that puck got behind the defense for the Dragons. Number three for Powers clears it out. Gonda dumps it back in the corner deep. Cross ice dump in. The pry on the four check. The pry on the four check. Dow out in front of the net is number two for Powers. Kind of flubbed the puck behind the net. Kovach. And that puck comes free to number 25, Leschel. He's not a guy you want with the puck. He's got 40 points on the season as well. And we're in the middle of a line change for Powers. And the puck's picked off on an inadvertent pass by Dow. He's got to carry that puck out of the zone. Benjamin puts a body check on number 15. Number eight for Powers is working it over. I think that's Bedra in the corner, Depry in the corner. No, nope, Sutherland and Depry in the corner. Depry has the puck still. No four check pressure. Dow along the half wall. Back in deep for Wildfong of uh, Powers. Over to number 12. We're going to clear the puck into number 15. He's going he's gonna to steer it into the corner. Sutherland puts a body check on him. Number eight goes in for Powers. Two Dragons, two Chargers in the corner. And uh, Bedros just hauled down, arms wrapped around. Sutherland's got the puck squeezed in the corner. Bedros back up. He, he cross-checks the guy. And this is a battle between number 15, number 15 for Powers, which is Babka, D-man. And a, another block, and this time by Stockwell, a fine block. And they're going to break free here. Dragons come out free. Looks like we got Barber hard on full speed. Out comes, he's going to put the shot on. Squirts. Almost caught by the goalie, Cantley, but Cantley misplays it, and it ends up on the doorstep, and they can't seem to get the puck in the net. It just trickled by the right post. Great play by the Dragons player. Another shot off the side of the net by the Dragons. This Stockwell 
Stockwell Manzo gets hauled down behind the net on a trip. No call. Bedra with the puck. On the wall for Stockwell. Stockwell puts it in to the front of the net, but now you got, uh, now you have uh, Powers going in, number 18 in deep. Big, big body check there by Bedra. And they're gonna call Bedra for a charge here, which is probably the worst call I've seen all year. Um, after all the stuff they let go behind the offensive net. He puts a good body check on a guy. He's uh, probably outweighs him by five pounds. And uh, did they call a penalty or a hand pass? I don't know what they called here. Looks like we just called a hand pass, so the Dragons are not shorthanded. Oh, they are calling Bedra for a penalty. They're going to call him for a. They're going to call. Off, absolutely awful call after uh, after Manzo got tripped and hauled down behind the offensive net here. This is not what you wanted to see here. 7:36 left in the third. Two to two. Dragons versus. Powers Chargers. Faceoffs won by the Evo with the puck. Puck's deflected high into the corner. Hagman working working the puck, trying to get the puck free with a little help from from uh, Connor Graham. Number 16 for, has the puck for Powers. Graham deflects it and it's and it does come out. So the Dragons so far so good. They've killed 22 seconds off the power play. But here comes Evo, full speed. He blows a tire, and it's still offsides. Dragons clear to center ice. 16, uh, Conover for Powers has it. He fires it over to number 21. And a big body check there. 16 still has the puck. And it looks like the Dragons could clear. They don't. 25 has it. That's Letchell, the second leading scorer. Connor Graham working him over. Warder with the puck. 21 has the puck. Back over for Evo. Evo dumps it deep, but uh, Gonda's just gonna play it to the corner to number 16, Conover. Conover over for Evo. Evo fires it. Big save by Johnny Marshall, but the puck drops right down. Evo has it again. Evo over for 16. Evo on the slap shot, deflected high and wide, and the Dragons are trying to get control here. They just can't. 21 for, back over to Evo at the point on the half wall for number 21. 21 wheels around, back for Evo. He's gonna wind up again. Blocked with a stick play by Graham, and Evo, and Graham loses his stick. He breaks his stick. He's gotta clear the puck. And it does get cleared, so, and Graham comes off, now we're one on two. Blocked and, blocked and a rough on Evo, and no call. Hands to the face, a head check, and no call. But Hagman keeps his cool and uh, doesn't retaliate. Now comes Powers, seven seconds left on the power play. And that's offsides, as number 18 picked up his foot. Strauss wheels it all the way around, but never looks. They've killed the power play here, and the Dragons are running out of gas, but uh, Hertzfield, who's got fresh legs, has got it. He clears it, but he doesn't clear it, and he's coming out free, full speed. So it's... Uh, TJ puts a heck of a shot in, and Cantley makes the save, holds on, and the Dragons stave off a power play by Powers and get away with, uh, and Powers gets away with a rough to the face. Number 17, Evo, comes in, takes the shot, and absolutely pummels Hagman in the face with both hands and no call. Not happy with the officiating tonight, but they are letting him play, so that's not the worst thing. A little bit of pause in the action here with uh, Barber. Reith, Bernie, Bedra, Sutherland for the Dragons. And on the draw, Babka, centerman for uh, Powers. Puck comes free to Gonda. Gonda fires it, deflected off a skate of the Powers player. And up comes Wildfong, number five. He makes a good move, but they're not gonna call a penalty there, thank goodness. Number 15, and Dragons got the puck. And we're in, and they're going to call offsides. Another bad call. I don't think that was offsides. But the, but the referee on this wall here called it, and I'm not real sure uh, how close that was. 4.51 left in the third. On the ice for the Dragons. 
We got TJ Hertzfield. We got Gabe Podick. We got Connor Graham, who's uh, short about, and, about 250 bucks today as he broke the stick. We got Gondon Sutherland. Let's see what we can do here. 16 Conover taking the draw for Powers. And that puck squirts free all the way down on Johnny Marshall. He, he feeds it off to Sutherland. Young Sutherland, puck comes free all the way out to center ice. Wildfong has the puck. He flips the puck over to Snyder. Snyder just dumps the puck deep. And there's a race for the puck. Number 25 interferes with and slashes the stick on Sutherland. 25 Letcher working the puck over. Sutherland straightening his cage. Wild Funk takes a shot, and that's going to go off the screen off of TJ Hertzfield's stick. And we're going to see a wholesale line change here for the, for the Dragons. So we're going to change the D-men up to uh, Hagman and Gonda. Coming on the ice for Powers. Ta-da, who to thunk it? Number 17, Evo. Number 11, Warda. Number 21, Wentworth. Number eight, Hutchings. A lot of ice time tonight. Draw one cleanly by Connor Graham and cleared all the way down the ice. And they're gonna call an icing here on the Dragons. Let's do this all over again. 408 left in the third. Once again, DVD copies can be purchased by calling ONTV 248-693-3377 or 248-393-1060. For only 10 bucks, you can get a copy of this game but any game on our program and in our broadcast vault. That's DVD copies at 248-693-3377. Dragons lose the draw, caught and shot. Shot by Warda, probably going wide. Saved by the goalie Marshall. Let's do this face off all over again. We got, P we got uh, public address now to Strauss working over, the, working over the music here. Gonda dumps it around, clears out. And we're going to see Podick chase the puck down. Podick working hard now. 17 Evo with the puck. He fires it back around for Captain Con for Captain Warda. Warda still with the puck behind behind Cantley in their net. Warda steps out. Powers tries to Powers tries to stretch the ice, and they're going to call icing as the puck squirts by Gonda. Got an offensive zone faceoff for the Dragons and a wholesale line change. Captain of the all hair team, Nick Depry on the ice, or, or Joe Depry, sorry about that, on the ice with Dahl and Benjamin flanking them on the blue line. We got Bedrin Southern, let's see what we can do here. We get a face off win here by the Dragons, tight game 2 2 here, four minutes left in the third. No real winner of that face off, but Flint Fowers comes out and their own player fires into their own net. 25, Letchell fires it right into their own bench. So Letchell on the left wing here with uh, Conover Flint center ice, Cantley in net. Depry on the draw, flanked over his left shoulder by, by Dow. Let's see what we can do here. And Flint power center, 16 gets waved out of the, waved out of the dot and Depry loses the draw to Letchell cleanly. Puck comes into the zone. And out comes Flint Powers, two on two. And that's off sides by 150 miles by number 25. Letchell can't seem to hit the brakes as number 16. Conover took the wide route into the offensive zone and caused Letchell to be off sides. Depry on the draw against Conover. Win, draw a win by the Dragons. Dow deflects it in deep. Hard on the four check is Benjamin. He takes his man out in the corner. They're looking for a penalty and they're gonna get it. They're gonna get an interference penalty. And this is exactly what you didn't wanna see here tonight. That was definitely an interference, but what they let go, uh, it's amazing that they're gonna make this call. And he just got a 10 minute misconduct for losing his cool. Benjamin, it was interference. He did catch him in a vulnerable position, so he's got a two and a 10, so he's done for the night. 
and uh, Coach Field's going to have to uh, put some strategy together to kill another penalty here. Yep. So Nick Bergman's in the box for uh, for the duration here. Two minute penalty, ten minute misconduct for unsportsmanlike, and. Uh, Unfortunately, young Bergman, who I've called Benjamin all game, and I apologize to him for that, because it's dark up here and I'm trying to read my rosters. So here we go, 306 left, Dragons on the penalty kill for two of the 306 in the two to two hockey game on Saturday afternoon at Detroit Skating Club. Lake Orion Dragons, not ranked in the top 15 in a two to two game with number 10, Flint Powers. Yeah. So let's see what the Dragons can do. And nothing, uh, nothing to our surprise here. We got 25 on the ice for them. Wetzel, we got 17 on the ice for them. Evo, we got 11. Their captain Ward on the ice for them. All these points out there. And let's see what the Dragons can do. And here we go. We got Gabe Podick picks off the puck. He's all alone. He fires it high and wide. But that's okay because the Dragons are killing a penalty. Connor Graham with efforts to keep it deep loses control, but uh, out comes Warda. Trying to take it all the way. Gonda, Gonda whiffs on him, but it's fired all the way around. Held in by Evo. Back in. Connor Graham has the puck. He's gonna clear it out to center ice, number 11. Number 11, Warda for them, their captain, fires it into number 21. 21 sets up on the half wall. Connor Graham chasing him. He's picked it, picks his pocket and fires it down into Cantley, and he's got a goaltender. Cantley's got to steer it uh, to, his, to his assistant captain, number 17, and leading scorer, young Evo. He's uh, chased hard by Bernie. And Evo's flying up the rink here, coming to center ice. He gets through. And uh, Dragons cleared all the way down. 43 seconds left on the power play here for, for, uh, for Powers. And number two comes free. TJ Hertzfield misses it. And here we go. Bernie's, got, Bernie's in. He's just gonna, he's gonna throw it at Cantley. Cantley steers it to the corner. 26 seconds left on the power play. And Powers is gonna have to regroup. Number 15 has it. He leaves it for nobody. But number two, the defenseman picks it up. Back on another regroup. And he's gonna dump it all the way in and around and Nick kind of pitchforks around behind the net and Sutherland's gonna feed it to the point man and it clears, sneaks by and that should do it for the power play for Powers. Dragons kill off another Powers power play and that's some pretty good play right there. Dupri on the ice comes right out of the box. He was serving the two minute penalty. One minute left here. Dragons gotta be careful. They gotta make sure that everything they do here is uh, defensively minded and know where they're giving the puck to. Connor Graham feeds it to Gabe. Gabe squirts a chest wide off a defenseman's stick and uh, it's fired back in by TJ. Over to Hegman. Hegman fires it to the net deflected by TJ. TJ has it. Podick's going to chase the puck down and uh, to Warda. And Connor Graham makes a good move there in the corner. Podick has it. Dragons hold it in. Gonda has it. He fires it. It's blocked. And a, and a bouncing puck slap shot by TJ Hurstfield, held onto by Cantley. 17.66 seconds left. This has been a heavy flourish by the Dragons, and it's an offensive zone faceoff. I got to think we're going to see a timeout, possibly by Powers here, but I haven't seen it called yet. So nobody's used their timeout. 17 seconds left, 2 2 game. Connor Graham on the draw. Gabe Podick. Setting up to his uh, right. TJ Hurstfield setting up off his left shoulder. Hagman and Hagman and Gonda on the point, ready to win this draw here against Evo. Evo wins the draw. And they score! Gabe Podick scores right off the draw. Evo wins the draw but leaves the puck. And Gabe Podick scores on a five-hole goal with 13.9 left. And ladies and gentlemen, the Dragons are a um, little under 14 seconds away from knocking off the number 10 team in the state. Who'd have thought this happening today? But I think that this is a great game. The Dragons have worked hard. 
Gabe Podick been neutralized most of the night. Picks up the loose puck off the face-off win by Evo, number 17. No hesitation, fired at the net and in it went. So Flint, so Powers Catholic just called a timeout. 13.9 seconds left. 4:20 in the afternoon. We are 14 seconds away. But we cannot. So here we go. But I have to, I have to uh, remind you, in the first period, at the start of the game, Powers scored. 13 seconds into this game. So this is more than enough time for Powers to take control here and get a good scoring opportunity. So the Dragons are gonna probably come out with their top line of Podic, Graham, Hertzfield. On the blue line, you're probably gonna see Gonda and Hagman. And uh, let's see what happens here. This is a pretty exciting game. I can't uh, tell you that uh, I'm not excited to watch the Dragons here. So this is, a, this is a big face off here. Dragons have to get the puck deep. They gotta play defensive side of the puck. Connor Graham on the draw. And the puck and the draw is won by Powers. Powers takes it in, they put it in deep. Evo's going for the puck. Hagman working it over. Comes free, looks like Dragons foul. One second left. Lake Orion Dragons have just beaten the number 10 team on the Power 10 rankings. Flint Powers Catholic, three to two. A great game. Johnny Marshall's gonna be one of my top stars tonight. But uh, I gotta tell you, this has been a darn good game. Powers, this is a great test for both teams as they get ready for the state playoffs. So that's Mr. Strauss's third star, stars of the game. Well, well, I got I got different stars tonight, but that's okay. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put Johnny Marshall as my number three star. I'm gonna put uh, a combination of that, that line of Bernie and Reith and uh, and Barber as the second star, and I'm gonna put uh, Young Dupri as my third star because he works so darn hard all night. That uh, Joey's my third star, and well, I'm signing off. Another great win. Now the Dragons are going on to one more game. Beat Stony Creek, win the OAA Red two years in a row. Winners of the OAA, never happened before. Thank you for listening. And I don't think we're broadcasting again this year. We'll see you next year. Stay classy, Lake Orion.